what would be the major role of this uh, Aditya Alvan? Yeah, this after uh, Chandrayaan on itself, uh, 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 this mission, uh, we thought of reconfiguring. Originally, when we talk about as a follow-on to the astrosat mission, uh, which was uh, basically for an astronomical multi-wavelength satellite, uh, there is a follow-on to that to look to study basically for the uh, sun and uh, the, some of the unanswered questions point of view. Originally, it was planned to be a low-Earth mission. After the success of Chandrayaan, I think it has been reconfigured as an Aditya L1. That means the uh, original objective remains uh, same. An added objective of uh, uh, looking at the space weather and trying to forewarn the, our operational satellites point of view. I think this mission was repositioned for the L1. And uh, it's really, really technically, it's uh, very, very challenging to acquire the L1 point and have an orbit around that. And uh, over and above that, uh, to the, uh, able to survive for the five years, with the very, very uh, accurate pointing requirements, this mission is concerned. And that way, I think today we have, have really seven science instruments. Uh, with that, uh, these will having a, one is uh, technically very, very challenging to acquire the orbit. And scientifically going to be rewarding, because seven instruments will try to understand you. More data to understand more about the dynamics and phenomena what's happening in the moon. And again, uh, operationally, it will be very purposeful. We have, uh, for example, India itself is having more than 55 satellites worth more than 60,000 crores of work. So their operational uh, were not hard inter uninterrupted. I think uh, this uh, message, whatever coming from the solar activity, will help to keep the satellites a very safe and secure point of view. So that way, I think it is a multi-purpose, a challenging, and uh, yeah, yes, I think it's uh, beyond Chandrayaan and Mangalyaan. And this also has its own uh, purpose uh, to science as well as for the operational missions point of view. Because there is a little bit confusion. People are thinking that the, uh, this uh, Aditya L1 is going to place on the sun, like a uh, moon. Yes, okay. So, can you have to elaborate how different is this from Chandrayaan 3? Because it's, play, it's going to be yeah. placed on like a L1 yeah, point. Yeah, yeah, right? yeah. So, like orbit near to sun. Right? Correct, correct. Yeah, this is unlike uh, other satellites, which basically it goes around the mother planet, be it Earth, be it the moon, or be it a Mars, like that. But this mission is not exactly like that. But this is the mission wherein the gravity of the both sun and uh, earth being coming very close, balanced, balanced. Around that point, uh, something called the yellow Lagrangian point, there are five such points. But this particular point, which is nearly uh, 150, uh, uh, 15 million, 1.5 million kilometers away from the uh, earth, 50 lakhs kilometers away from the earth, and uh, look at the uh, earth always, one side of the satellite will look at always. Uh, uh, sun. So that gives an uninterrupted observation of the opportunity, uh, not even really going towards, uh, not very near to the sun, but it's uh, but it's, it's good enough to have at least a warning of uh, nearly three to four days in advance of what's coming uh, towards the system is concerned. One final, yeah. yeah. One final question. What's your message for the ISRO? Yeah, <laughs> the message is basically I think ISRO is now it's coming with the bank. Uh, after the COVID, there was uh, it was coming up very nicely, but uh, just COVID has made us some uh, small setback, and Chandrayaan 2 also got a setback. But now I think it's coming as a bank with uh, Chandrayaan uh, 3 already in a place and doing well. Now Aditya is coming, and I, I think I'm expecting another uh, the satellite, very, very ambitious satellite called uh, NASA ISRO Synthetic Aperture Radar NISAR. Uh, that is basically to look at the global warning, other things are very, very minute details uh, that will provide enough data. And beyond that, in any of operational missions for communication, navigation, satellite going on. Commercially also, I think it's venturing there. That way, I think it's an all-round effort. It enthusiasts the people to come in a big way. So that way, I think ISRO is uh, now is coming with a big bang.